Hello students, let us begin with an introduction to this course. Can you recognize this picture? Yes, the correct answer is this is William Shakespeare, the famous playwright. Indeed, this paper is titled Drama to Shakespeare. The course code for this paper is ENG802C and we are going to learn about the plays of Shakespeare. These are the course level learning objectives. Uh, the first is to introduce students to a select range of Shakespeare's canonical works. Secondly, to make familiar the social and cultural context of Shakespearean plays. Thirdly, to highlight Shakespeare's diversity and complexity in his tragedies, comedies, historical and problem plays. And finally, to present aspects of Shakespearean criticism as well as translations and adaptations of his plays across the globe. Let's look at the course outline. Uh, we have two units in this course. The first comprises of text and we have two texts that we are going to study in detail during this course. The first is Hamlet and the second is a comedy, The Tempest. The second unit is titled Shakespeare Through the Ages. And in this unit, we are going to learn firstly about Shakespeare and literary criticism, the entire tradition. And secondly, Shakespearean adaptations and translations. Let's look at the course level learning outcomes. By the end of this paper, the students will be able to firstly identify some of the great works of Shakespeare. Second, engage in the interpretation of the various genres of Shakespearean plays. Thirdly, understand Shakespeare's historical and cultural perspectives. And fourth, appreciate the diverse nuances of Shakespearean theater, film adaptations, as well as critical discourse. Uh, these are the evaluation methodology. This will be the evaluation strategy and these approaches will be adopted while assessing your progress. Firstly, you will have to engage in a drama performance. The entire class will be divided into groups of equal number of students who will be required to enact a scene from any of the two plays included in the reading list of the paper. The weightage for this component will be 20%. The second is a mid-semester examination. So you will write a two-hour mid-semester examination. The weightage for the mid-semester examination will be 30%. And then I shall conduct an end-semester examination which will be a three hour long examination and the weightage for this final component will be 50%. Uh, I do hope that this introduction helps you to understand and to obtain an overview of the entire course. Welcome to this course. Thank you.